In this video we're going to be installing Ableton Live from the very beginning. I've seen videos where they jump right into it and they're moving really fast, but we're going to go to the absolute beginning and talk about Ableton Live and how we're going to be using that here for creating music at OHLR. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Ableton.com and Ableton is a company out of Berlin, Germany. It's a really cool place. Uh, I went there with my wife and one of my daughters and there's another really cool company we like um, besides Ableton in, in Berlin and that is Native Instruments. In fact some of the folks that started Ableton Live came from Native Instruments. So anyways we're gonna go to Live and then there's a couple different options you can pick in Live. So if you click on Shop you'll see the different options there if you click Buy Now there's an introductory version. It used to be called Light, but now it's called Intro, and you can get that for $99. Another option is to look at certain keyboards or pads, and they will bundle the software in. And then another option is Standard, and that's $449, and then the full suite is $749. So there's a couple differences in the different packages the light version you're only going to get 1500 sounds and there are some limitations as far as how you can create music and we'll talk about that more it'll make more sense but there are scenes and limits on uh, tracks eight mono audio input eight mono output and eight scenes 16 audio and MIDI tracks so when you jump up to standard you're gonna get unlimited audio and MIDI tracks and a lot more options, a total of 256 mono audio input channels, 12 send and receive tracks, and your library jumps uh, from 5 gigabytes up to 10 gigabytes of sounds. If you want to go with the full suite, that's a lot of money, so we're not actually going out and buying the full suite yet. We're going to use a number of different software applications and figure out which ones that we really are getting the most out of and enjoying the most. So we may at some point jump to the suite, but we don't have that yet. And there's another uh, thing to look at as well besides the actual tracks, and that is how many software instruments. So going from 4 to 5 to 15, or audio effects going from 21 to 34 to 55. So once you uh, buy the software, you can download it. So another trick that we learned is you can buy your software from different vendors. One of those vendors is Musician's Friend. They're an online retailer and if you just search Ableton Live it'll come up with a number of different products. Ableton makes physical devices, the push hardware, but they also make the software. So there's a lot of different options here. And right now these prices look comparable. We bought our uh, software on a Black Friday special. So if you go in here and you register for uh, rewards or you register for an account, then you can get emails and those emails often have sales. So I'll be watching the sales between Ableton or between Musician's Friend. If there are any other places you know of that are authorized retailers that have great deals on Ableton Live, go ahead and put those in the comments so we can see that. We'd love to hear from the, from you on that. So once I've bought it, I've logged into my live Ableton account and you can see here um, I have the um, intro is what I started out with but then I upgraded to standard and they're giving me an upgrade price of 369 to upgrade which is pretty good that's better than the other price we saw which is just to buy it outright is 749 so we are getting some credit back for our existing purchase so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna download the software here so for downloads, I'm going to go to Account, and then under Live 10 Standard, I'm going to click on Download, and I'm going to install this on a Mac OS. This is a MacBook Pro 2019. We also have installed this on iMacs. We've installed it on uh, Mac Minis, but had no luck at all installing it on a MacBook Air. The MacBook Air didn't have enough processor or other resources. So one of the challenges with all of these vendors is that 
Apple recently cut support for 32-bit support. Everything is 64-bit now. That means that some of those drivers don't work. So you'll have to check with the different manufacturers if you have controllers, keyboards, other devices to make sure that they are compatible with the 64-bit which was released with the Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. I'll click download here. And just really quick while that's downloading, I'll tell you a little bit about Ableton Live. So this is a DAW or digital audio workstation. You can run it on Mac OS, you can run it on Windows. It's meant more for those who play instruments, perform instruments. There's modes where you can not only create or record or arrange or mix and master, but you can also perform with it. Also, we've seen some DJs using Ableton Live. You can use controls for beat matching or crossfading, other effects. There's a lot of different resources from Ableton. They're really great with the music community. We like how they constantly have uh, seminars, a lot of information on their websites, a lot of uh, support around the product, as well as a large community of users. And that means that you'll see a tremendous amount of videos out there on how to use the software not only from Ableton but also from YouTube. Okay, Ableton Live standard finished downloading. So this is version 10.1.7 64-bit. We'll double click to launch to actually to expand the DMG which is a disk image. We'll agree with the end user license. So we've now extracted the installer from the compressed archive, the DMG file. So we're going to take live and we're going to just drag and drop that onto our applications folder. And just a little bit about storage, it looks like if I do command I, I can see the original DMG was 1.9 gigabytes and then the installer extracted out at three, a little over three gigabytes. So that's done installing. So we'll go to the Go menu, Applications, and we see Ableton Live here. So we'll double click that to launch it. Go ahead and open it. We have to authenticate to the local machine. Ableton Live standard has launched, so this is our initial view. The first things you'll notice is that it looks differently depending on if you're in one of two different modes, either the arrangement view or the session view. So the way to toggle between modes is to click on these two different icons. One's horizontal, that's arrangement. The other is vertical that session. The other way to toggle back and forth is with the tab key. So I'm pressing my tab key now to toggle back and forth. We have some packs to install. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll click on packs and we'll see little download icons next to each of the packs. Available pack has downloaded. I can click install and it'll run through chop and swing install. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to download and install all seven of these available sound packs. So now we have all seven packs installed. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching OHLR Music.